Alright, today I'm going to show you guys how to repair a power window switch for a 96 to 2000 Accord. Okay, so first things first, you're going to go ahead and flip the console upside down. You're going to take out these three screws right here. One, two, and three. And then after that, it's going to come apart like this. And then you're going to have the controls. Well, with the controls, you're going to have to pry them open with like a screwdriver. On either side, you're going to have to wedge them up. They'll pop off. I already got mine off right now. So once you get all those off, then there's a rubber boot. You're going to take the rubber boot off. And now you're left with the switches. Well, let me give you a better view angle. On the terminals right here, these are what go bad. Once you start switching them, they don't make a good connection, and there's a lot of soot in there. So basically you're going to get a little flathead screwdriver. And you're going to pry. On the main one, it's just a pin. There's a pin right here. You can just push it through and pull it out. But on these, you have to actually pry them open. So you pry one side. And then pop the other side. It just comes out like that. Now you got these terminals I was telling you about. They're down inside there. You know, look, they're just little copper terminals but if you look see the black soot on there that's what doesn't make contact when you're trying to switch it up and down they also have little groove teeth right there and on the actual terminal switch it actually has slots for it where the actual teeth would go right in so you can't misplace the teeth they slide right in with these little indentions okay so Basically, you just get yourself a little bit of steel wool and you're going to rub these terminals until they're clean. So after you're done rubbing the terminals real clean, you take another little piece with like a screwdriver and you just break off a little piece of steel wool, put it on the tip of the screwdriver and I can show you a better close up. You just put it in those terminals. Just wiggle them around until they're clean. And once that's all done, then your switch should work perfectly well. If it doesn't, and uh, sometimes they can get a little bent on the end. So what you'll do is you'll get a pair of pliers right at the tip. And you just give it a little bend downward so that makes better contact. Okay, so once all those terminals are clean, like I said, you're going to put them back in. You can't really mess them up because those grooves that I showed you earlier, they only go one way. So you put those back in the same spots. You kind of use a screwdriver to fiddle them in there. All right, and then you take this, which all they are is just spring-loaded, so when you switch it forward, it pushes on one terminal. When you fit the other way, it pushes on another terminal. So basically you're just going to push it right back in there. It doesn't matter which way it goes, sideways, forward, whatever. As long as it goes down in there, push it real hard. And then there you go, it works. So now I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so I'm about to plug it in. We're going to turn the key on. And we're going to plug this in and see how they all work. So all our switches work, and that was pretty much the problem. I actually had a few. I had two main ones that weren't working uh, at all. So I fixed them pre-video. But all right, well, hope you guys enjoyed my video, and uh, please subscribe.